Hey guys, so as of today I'm done learning full ZBLL. So um, so ZBLL is the subset of one lock last layer where you um, have all the edges oriented. So it's 472 algs and I've learned them all. It took me two months to do. So in this video I'm just going to share with you how I, uh, how I managed this, how, I'm, how I approach this and so on. Uh, so basically the reason I, I decided to learn the whole thing was because I originally just wanted to learn 2GLL and I made myself a trainer for it, which is this thing here. Um, but then I realized after making the trainer that learning the learning the algs was so you know so easy with this trainer that I, I might as well just learn full ZBLL. So how this trainer works is it's it's a virtual cube. You control which keeper controls. So I can just you can scramble it and you can solve it just like a normal cube. So you control with the keyboard. So just like that. Um, so that's the front, that's the top face, that's the front face, and this is just this represents this stripe of color here. Um, so basically, how I train ZBL on this is, uh, you see the check boxes here. Each of these represents a set of um, twelve algs, uh, all rep all with uh, a certain serial algal case. So, for example, if I just do this one, what I would do is I would just, um, if I press enter, I get a new scramble each time, and I would just every time I get a new scramble, I do the solve. Um, I remember, try and remember the alg, and I just solve the cube. And I just keep doing this. And I just keep doing this until one of these things goes into my memory. If I forget an alg, I just press space and the algorithm comes up. So that's that's probably my favorite feature of this. You just never have to look go looking in look for algs in um, an alg sheet. So like or even and also if you um, mess up completely, you can just press space. You don't have to resolve your cube and rescramble it, you just press space. And you're ready to try the alg again. So um, it's, and it saves me so much time. It saves me time scrambling. It saves me time solving the cube when I mess up. It saves me time from uh, looking up alg. So um, it, it just saves a lot of um, you know little seconds here and there. Um, and uh, probably even more importantly, it saves you. It saves you from having to switch your mind from doing different tasks. Um, you don't have to like. It's not like one moment you're solving the cube, one moment you're scrambling the cube, one moment you're you've messed up and you have to re scramble and then look up the alg. So there's none of that. So for me, this is a very comfortable way to learn algs. Uh, you you just you're focused on learning the alg 100% of the time. You're not looking stuff up. You're not scrolling through this. You're not uh, scrambling cubes. Um, a lot of people ask whether if it's a bad idea to learn the algs on a on a uh, virtual cube. Um, like, wouldn't my algs? Wouldn't I be really slow at doing them on a cube because I don't have the muscle memory? Well, I think I'm. Um, I, I don't think it's that bad. Uh, first of all, the recognition uh, transfers over very well from this thing to here. I'm I'm just used to this thing, this uh, simulator, and also I remember the algs no problem. So if I remember an alg here, I can do. I remember an Unreal cube. Um, I don't. Um, I don't have muscle memory for every alg yet, but actually, for most of them, I actually can do them fairly quickly because um, the algs in ZBL are actually very nice. Uh, if you use Jabari's algs, they are. Um, and all of these algs are, are just looked up from uh, a Jabari's alg sheet. If you use Jabari's algs, uh, there's a lot of familiar finger tricks in them, so it doesn't take that long to to learn learn how to finger trick an alg if you know like, say CFOP, because many of the algs are just two OLL cases cancelled into each other, soon cancelled into an OLL or stuff like that. So the algs are actually very easy to learn in ZBLL. Um, it's 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 only the recognition, so. And to get over the difficulty of recognition, I just did a ton of solving, 
ton of these solves, and I, I basically I just got them wrong until I got them right. Just keep keep trying, and then eventually my, my brain would uh, start. Um... Okay, I messed this one up. Uh... Oops, sorry. Yes, um, this is. I, I know this arc, but <laughs> I messed it up a small bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so I think it's fine. I actually have a. Um, I have a 5.04 uh, or something average of 50 for just ZBLL scrambles. So I think that's actually pretty reasonable. It's, it's not. It's not the worst. Uh, considering I didn't learn any of these on a real cube, and they're probably still out because I haven't actually tried, I haven't actually done on a real cube yet. Um, but as I said, the recognition tra uh, and memory transfers over flawlessly, so it's grand. Um, so basically, how I approached it was I just every day I just choose one of these. So, for example, I choose T, maybe I choose T4, and oh, whoops. And then I just keep on training until I got right. It got them all right. This, 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 this what you're seeing here is pretty much well uh, an average uh, training session for me. I, I just press. I just might press. Um, I might. I just might press space more often. Just right now, I should know that. I'll just, back when I didn't, I just press the space like every every time so that the out comes up. Um, for recognition I just pretty much just remember anything that's uh, memorable. Uh, I just remember anything that's memorable about the case at all. So for example I just remember this one has two blocks which is which makes it unique. Or sometimes I might remember like um, sorry like I remember, like something has a twisted corner like that, and these these edges are would be correct if the, if you uh, if the uh, corner w wasn't twisted. I just remember anything that's uh, memorable at all. So let's say, yeah, for example, this one has a block. Um, yeah. So this one, I remember, for example, these colors are all the same. These are opposite and um, these are the same I'd, so just anything that's um, recognizable at all um, I remember the actual algs uh, as I said uh, just by looking at how the it breaks up and makes uh, and remakes the F2L so if you do it this way um, one advantage is that you don't have to relearn them going into OH you remember most of them because you, you know what the algs look like it's not it's not just muscle memory so like if you if they're all if you remember memorize them all by muscle memory you're going to forget them all when you do one-handed but if you remember them by how the blocks uh, are made and broken uh, you don't have that same problem um, so yeah um, I, I didn't go through these in I went through this roughly in order TUL pi H anti soon then soon but um, I pretty much just chose, I just, every day I was just like, uh, yeah, I feel like doing this one and I just learn it. Uh, I usually like to learn the mirrors and inverses of a set after um, learning a set. But that's just personal preference. Um, so I'm not sure if this kind of thing would suit everyone. Probably most people would uh, prefer to do... Um, to do something like this, use this trainer where you actually scramble on a real cube and then you uh, do that, do the ALK. But uh, I just um, I'll probably use this to train the ALKs and get them fast later on. But um, the problem is I, I just don't like that you have to look up the ALK in the ALK sheet with this sort of thing. Um, it's I mean even if it's not that hard to just glance over and put this on my second screen. Um, it just it just requires you to switch your mind from doing one task to another. It's just annoying. Right, so um, I think that's really all I want to say about how I, I learned these. Um, 
So I guess I might as well uh, say, uh, just uh, answer the question, what am I going to do next? Well, I'm probably going to, I'm going to start school soon again, so I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to train these and get these really fast. But um, it was a lot of fun to do anyway, so I don't mind. Um, I'll probably be playing around with Petrus a lot now, and or else maybe ZB. Um, possibly uh, ZB Ru as well, the uh, one of the a new method that came out, uh, also known as LLB. I prefer the name ZB Ru. Um, but yeah, um, I'll consider learning ZBLS maybe, and uh, I think that probably would be a method I could actually use in competitions perhaps, but um, we'll see about that. Right now I'm still s s slower with ZBLL than um, than uh, without ZBLL, then like if I just use all PLL because the recognition is still a bit slow. But um, anyway, uh, speed was honestly the second thing in my mind when I um, started learning these. I mostly just wanted to learn them for fun, and uh, because I just thought this trainer just makes it kind of easy. Um, so yeah, that's kind of all I want to say. So uh, this wasn't really a tutorial. I, I don't know um, if everyone, anyone, or uh, anyone will help find this useful. But uh, I hope this at least gives you guys ideas and um, encourages more people to learn ZBLL. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.